Michael, my boy, what's happening? Looking good. All right, so this week I'm back with you to go over four more movies that I watched in this chapter of getting through all of these movies on this shelf. Like I said, it was only four this week, but not a bad number when you got other shit to do. I got through four movies and it runs the whole gamut. It goes everywhere from absolutely dreadful all the way up to friggin' spectacular. So let's get to it. These are the horrors that I've seen. When are you going to pick a movie? <laughs> you got a bad attitude. As always, I hope you guys are doing well, staying safe. So, the first thing that I watched this week was actually picked by my 14-year-old son. We watched this, he's going to be 15 in 11 days. Yeah, 11 days. So, we watched this movie once before, but it was so long ago that he really didn't remember the movie. He just remembered that he liked it. We sat down the other night and watched The Autopsy of Jane Doe. Now, I don't know how many of you have seen this movie, but if you have seen this movie, you know how good of a movie this is. If you haven't, you got two coroners that have a body delivered to them from a crime scene. The obvious things that took place in this, uh, in this house were on the, the first and second floor of the house. People were shot, somebody was killed, so on and so forth. But they also came across a body buried in the dirt in the basement. Strange thing about this body is it doesn't appear to have anything wrong with it. It is the body of Jane Doe. And you know, my, I'll put it here. It's the body of Jane Doe and she is almost perfectly preserved. The only thing wrong with her, to be quite honest with you, is some bitch, she's pretty pasty. She's like pale white, but visibly there's nothing wrong with her. So the cops pick her up, throw her in a bag, drive her over to the coroner's place and says, I need answers by the end of tonight as to what is wrong or what is the cause of death of this girl. I need answers and I need them right now. So the coroners are Emil Hirsch and Brian Cox. I believe Emil Hirsch. I don't know. I know definitely Brian Cox. Them two guys right there, father and son. They're the, they're the coroners. Son's getting ready to leave, but he turns around and goes back to help dad. Blah, 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 blah. They do an autopsy and the shit hits the fan. If you have not seen that movie, that's one of those films that I could not recommend high enough. I bought that, I, I saw a trailer for that and I thought it, that it looked pretty interesting. But then after, I, I've watched that movie several times now. But again, I'm trying to get through all these on this shelf and it, that my son wanted to watch that movie, so here we are. That movie, I watched the trailer for it. I thought it looked interesting, but it was way better than I even expected it to be. So, if you haven't seen The Autopsy of Jane Doe, check that thing out. It is spectacular. The creep level in that movie is at 11. It's so atmospheric and creepy and just flat out well made. You don't need tons of CGI special effects in a movie like this. There are some practical effects, and there's quite a bit of practical effects in here. It's an autopsy, so figure it out. Check that movie out, fantastic. I've seen that probably, I bet you I've watched that eight or 10 times now. That movie is, just, well, it's obviously good if I've watched it that many times. The next thing that I watched, I can't say the same thing about, was a little something called Clown Town. This was definitely a Dollar Tree pickup for me. Bought it probably, I'd say a year and a half, two years ago, if I had to take a guess at it. This movie, it is a group of friends traveling in a van, going to a concert, stuff goes wrong. They pull into this little seemingly just about empty town. And what do you think is in that, in, in that town? Yeah, it doesn't take a lot to figure that out. So these clowns are in this town, these seemingly empty town. You're, you're only dealing with a handful of clowns here. They, it's called Clown Town. So you expect everybody to be dressed in clown makeup, clowns everywhere. Well, no, not it's not that at all. There's less than 10, six or eight probably. 
of these clowns roaming around and they're no good as you also may assume it's a movie called clown town and it's a horror movie so obviously the clowns are not the good guys here this movie was all right i i wasn't blown away by this film it, not even close uh but i also was not compelled to jump up and run in the opposite direction it was all right it was like an hour and a half like hour i think it was like an hour and 32 minutes if i'm not mistaken doesn't matter splitting hairs it's all right I, if you have it watch it if you don't have it don't feel compelled to to rush to your local dollar tree and try and find clown town it was all right at best the next thing i watched was not even as good as clown town was something that i bought at a going out of business sale at a video rental store remember those this was a little movie called zombies anonymous all right so in this movie it begins with a guy banging on a bathroom door screaming at his girlfriend that he's going to kill her that he hates her that she's a bitch and all that other wonderful stuff that assholes do to their girlfriends he gets through the door, shoots her in the chest, shoots her in the head, and kills her. But she's not dead. She's kind of undead. In this movie, zombies are out walking around among us, as zombies do. But in this film, they're not so much like The Walking Dead or Day of the Dead or Return of the Living Dead or Night of the Living Dead. It's not that kind of zombie movie. It's more like they're accepted in society. They speak and they walk around and they have jobs and so on and so forth. But there are definitely groups of people who do not like the zombies so much. It's almost like Zombie racism is what this feels like. It's sincere. That sincerely is what this feels like. It almost feels like a pack of skinhead type people trying to kill off the zombie. I don't know. The, the zombie people or zombie. What the hell? Zombie nation. I don't even know what the hell I'm trying to say. It's skinheads that don't like zombies. That's what it more or less feels like. And there's one particular zombie named Angela in this movie. She's the girl that got shot in the head and killed killed at the beginning of the movie. She's the star of the movie. She's a zombie. She just seems like she's trying to get along in life. She eventually runs into the boyfriend who shot her in the head and more blah, blah, blah. That movie was barely watchable. I, it's, I still don't think it's the worst movie that I've watched since I started doing this. I think that award goes to one of the movies I watched last week that uh, thankfully... I don't even really remember what that was called. Uh, so check out last week's video and you'll know what the hell that was. I don't remember. But uh, this movie was barely watchable. The effects were almost laughable at times. There, there's a couple different scenes where zombies got shot in the head. And it kind of looked like the nose in Killer Clowns from Outer Space when they get shot in the nose and you see like glitter. These things get shot in the head and you would just think to see like a big blood splatter. But there's like two or three shots in this movie where they get shot in the head, the head explodes, and it's real fast. And I'm sure that's done on purpose because of the budget and lack of CG, lack of practical effect experience. I'm sure that that's the reason it's so fast. But because it's so fast, it literally almost looks like glitter. They get shot, spark of glitter, head is gone, end of that person or zombie, whatever. I, yeah, if you don't value your time in any way whatsoever check out zombies anonymous that's a real good way to waste an hour and a half of your life and the final movie that i watched this is a second time watch for me i didn't pick this one randomly i didn't get this movie picked by my son i picked this movie to kind of wrap up the the trilogy i watched the human centipede three the final sequence. Now, Eric Roberts is actually in this movie. That, that's shocking. All right, so the first Human Centipede movie is a very, very, very well-made movie. It looks great. It's uh, supposedly uh, anatomically correct or 
whether surgically correct, what, how, what, whatever way they painted that picture. It's just a great movie, very compelling. It's it's selling people ass to mouth is what this whole trilogy is about. But the first movie is really well made. It's more gross in theory than it is to actually watch. It's a really, really good movie. I'm going to go ahead and assume that a lot of you guys out there that are watching this now have probably seen that movie. Probably far fewer people have seen The Human Centipede 2 full sequence. That one's more, it's black and white, it's more grimy, it's more of like an obsessed fan making this, uh, making the human centipede. He's knocking jokers out, he's bringing them back, he's cutting them up, he's stapling lips to asses. It's grimy and gross. It's, for me, it was much harder to watch than the first film was. This movie takes a drastic left turn, or 180, whatever the hell you want to call it, and turns into just as if the first two are not. This one is repulsive. So you have the guy who played the doctor in The Human Centipede. And you have uh, the little chubby guy. What was his name? Walter? Warren? Henry? Martin? Martin. I think his name was Martin. Yeah, Martin. So those two guys are both in this movie. The, the doctor from the first film is a uh, sheriff and or a warden and I think he's a warden we, he's the head cop at a fucking jail so he's at this jail and the other guy's his little assistant dude he's and the warden is a or the head jail guy is completely repulsive he's like the lowest level scumbag male chauvinistic sadistic dirt ball scumbag that you could ever possibly meet in your entire life and for whatever reason it just seems to be accepted very strange so he wants to if you can see in this picture these are all prisoners he wants to sew the entire prison ass to mouth what was his name is it right there Dieter Laser or Lasser Dieter Laser Lasser whatever that is the uh that's the head cop guy or the head jail guy and I believe Henry Lawrence is the guy who previously played Martin. What? I bet you don't care. So he wants to sew the whole jail together as the mouth. And basically it's for budget cuts. It's not for budget cuts. Budget cuts is like a fringe benefit of it. He wants to do it because he's a piece of shit. That's what he wants to do. But it's actually not even his idea. It's the little fat guy's idea because he's a Human Centipede fan, as he was in The Human Centipede 2. This movie is, I'll tell you what, man, I know that Ben from Cadaver Club is the only per the only one that I know for a fact saw that movie. I bet you Phil from Phil's Creepy Vids watched it too. But I know Ben watched it, and Ben felt the same way about it that I did. It's bare. You can barely get through this movie because it's so immoral and disgusting, and that character is so... I don't even want to say dislikable. He's so hateable that you don't even want to finish watching this film. And like I said, I watched that before and it was hard to get through for me the first time I watched it. It was easier for me to get through this time because I, the shock value, I guess, was gone because I watched it before. And I guess time eroded those sharp corners down a little bit. This is not a fun movie at all. It's gross. It, it's absolutely just disturbing. Some of the shit that this guy does in here it is just absolutely repulsive. So the first movie I thought was wonderful. The second movie I thought was pretty damn good, and I honestly did like it. The third movie sucks. I am glad that this is the final sequence, and Tom Six, Tom Six is in this movie too. I'm glad he's done. I don't want to see... If that's the direction he's going in, I, I want his direction to come to an end. I don't want to see any more of it. So that's it. That's what I watched this week. Only got to four. I started to watch a fifth, but it got to the point where I had to I, I had to go to bed. I, I had to go to bed, and it was either watch a fifth movie or get this video done today. And the result of that is here I am. All right, so without question, not even close. It, like not not even it's not even a conversation to be had. The best movie I watched this week was The Autopsy of Jane Doe. That's a best, one of the best movies I've seen in literally years. So, clearly, it's going to be better than Clown Town, Zombies Anonymous, 
and that gross ass human centipede movie that I just dropped on the floor. I keep looking down because I don't want to step on it. And the worst movie that I watched this week, I guess I'm going to go for the whole overall thing. The human centipede is, <laughs> but the worst movie I watched was definitely Zombies Anonymous. That kind of an interesting idea. And like I said before, I'm never going to knock a filmmaker. The guy did what he could do with what he had, and I think that that's awesome. And I don't have a movie out there that can be rented at, at the video store or bought from the used video store. I don't have that. So good on him. He's, hey, he's a better filmmaker than I am. But again, that don't mean I got to like it. And I did not like that. I thought it was fucking terrible. All right, leave me some comments down below. Have you seen all of these movies? Have you seen any of these movies? Are you now going to watch any of these movies after this train wreck of a review? Uh, have any of you seen Zombies Anonymous or own it? I'm very curious of that. When I tried to look the title or the, the cover, the movie poster up to make the thumbnail for this video, I found one picture. And it's not a good one. It's like a sideways video picture of that. So I can't imagine a whole lot of people have come across that in their journey. I'm getting out of here. Leave me all those comments down below. Let me know all that information. I'm, I'm always curious to see if I'm the only one who's watching this shit. <laughs> if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you really like this video and you've been enjoying my content up to this point, please do me a huge personal favor. Click that subscribe button and ring that bell. Take care of yourself, folks. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day. And thank you for watching. Love you guys. See you next week.